Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about the Beneliga, which is the imminent combination of the Belgian and Dutch leagues. I'll talk you through what's actually happening with the leagues, how we can already represent this in FIFA pretty easily, and we'll finish off with why this is happening so that you get a bit more context as to why the leagues want to merge in the first place. But as I said, let's get started off with what is actually happening. So, all 25 professional clubs in Belgium have already approved the plan to do this. Dutch clubs haven't yet, but the league would be 18 teams in total, with 8 Belgian teams and 10 Dutch teams. 11 teams are pretty much already confirmed. Ajax, PSV, Feyenoord, AZ Alkmaar, Utrecht, Vitesse. And then from Belgium, you've got Anderlecht, Club Bruges, Standard Liège, Ghent and Genk. The already existing Belgian and Dutch leagues would continue to exist, but they'd be at a second or third tier supplying this new Super League. So that's a brief rundown of what is actually going to be happening with the Bena Liga. But now you might want to know how you can represent this in FIFA, and we'll run a quick simulation to see who might do the best. Because the league would have 18 teams in it, the best league to use to simulate this would be the Bundesliga. I imagine the Bena Liga would have a similar amount of European slots as the Bundesliga too, because it would be combining the slots that already exist for Belgium and Holland. So combined with the 11 previously mentioned teams, and if you want to see these, I've put them in the description, you'll also need another 4 Dutch and 3 Belgian teams to add to your Bundesliga. From here, the Bundesliga can be simulated and it'll have the right amount of team slots and the right fixtures for what the Bena Liga would actually do. If we just run this for a season, I'll put this in the background, you'll see which teams might be the best. You can imagine teams like Bruges and Ajax will probably dominate in real life, but it's still fun to see what would happen in FIFA. So while that's simulating in the background, we'll talk about why this is happening. The main reason is money. As you'd expect in football, money is super important to all aspects of football, and most teams in these leagues are losing money every single season. The league will earn 300 million more dollars than what is currently brought in by the Belgian and Dutch leagues. The Belgian league, for example, earns 300 million on its own, and the Dutch league would earn 450 million. This combined league would earn over 1 billion dollars, but this is still half of what the French league earns, which earns 1.8 billion. And for context, the Premier League earned over 6 billion dollars last season. Another reason this league is going ahead is the competition. Only four different teams have won the Belgian league in the past 25 years, and only five different winners of the Dutch league since 1980. Players aren't improving because they don't have as much of a competition. You can see this in other leagues where you'll see teams would rather loan a player out to League 2, for example, than play in the reserve league. Players are not improving because they're not playing against good enough players. Players also aren't joining teams that don't have a chance to win the league. Are players less likely to join someone like Haravine when they're playing in the Eredivisie because they'd rather not be finishing sort of mid-table? In this combined league, Haravine might be mid-table but in a much bigger league. So instantly, half of these clubs will be a lot more attractive to signing new players than they are currently. If a player seems to be an outstanding player in the Bena Liga, the chances are they'll also get sold for more than if they were an outstanding player in the Belgian league or the Dutch league. The increased competition will improve players' values, improve players wanting to join the league, and just improve their talent too. It'll also help out both the national teams, even though they're both at the top echelons of international football, by improving the quality of the domestic football for all the youngsters. Another reason that's also connected to finances is the attendances in both of the leagues has fallen dramatically over the past decade. The Belgian league averages just under 11,000 fans per game, and the Dutch league averages just over 17,000. More people watch the championship at 21,000 fans per game, or the second Bundesliga, which has 19,100 fans per game, than either of these top flight leagues. You can imagine the games between the big teams, such as Ajax vs Bruges or Anderlecht vs Feyenoord, would have sellout attendances, especially as these teams develop rivalries from playing more and more games against each other. If the Bena Liga ends up being successful, you could probably see the same thing happening all around the world. You can imagine something like the Portuguese Big Four wanting to join the Spanish leagues, or of course Celtic and Rangers wanting to join the English leagues. But even smaller leagues banding together, such as a Nordic League with Denmark, Finland, Norway and Sweden being a possibility in the future. 
You might be wondering why I see the Bena Liga as a different kind of thing to the European Super League. I think it's more of a way to make sure these clubs can actually survive and compete, whereas the Super League is more of a just greed-based thing on earning as much money as possible. I think this would actually improve the football. I think it would lead to more competitive teams in Europe, whereas the opposite would happen if there was a Super League. You'd be cut off to a limit of the 16 or 24 best teams, whatever they decide to do in the end. Whereas this league would still have promotion and relegation so anyone could get into it. And I don't think the amount of money in the league would totally cut off the second division or poorer first division teams from getting up to the top of the table. If you see it any other way, and if you think this is just a money grabbing exercise done by the Belgian and Dutch football associations, then do let me know in the comments because I'd love to hear everyone's opinion on what they think of this league taking place. Of course, quite a lot of the world's best footballers now had their debuts in one of these two leagues. People like Van Dijk or Depay or De Jong, De Bruyne, Courtois, Lukaku, these would all be players that would be playing just as good if this league happened or if the league didn't happen, but they would probably have more of a chance to shine against tougher opposition. Personally, I just like the idea of teams from Belgium or Holland having the chance to actually make it to the last stages of the Champions League. I think the format's got a little bit stale, and although that's changing in 2024 also, the chance for Ajax to win another title without losing their players the next season is pretty unlikely. This league would help prevent this and give them a chance to keep their players for one or two more seasons, depending on how successful the league is overall. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and looking into this potential league that could be in FIFA 23 or 24 maybe. So if you did, feel free to give me a like, that's appreciated, and thank you for watching this far, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers and goodbye.